The famous Dawa Dawa comes from the African locust bean tree. The branches and leaves create a dramatic spreading crown. The fruits are dark brown long pods dangling on the tree. Welcome to living the ancestral way with Abna. I grew up eating dawa dawa. It was cooked in jollof, in stews, in soups. This was the ultimate food ingredient that brings life and flavor to any food. My mother, her mother, and the women from her village hold the scent of dawa dawa on their fingertips. They know the medicinal benefits of cooking with this key ingredient. I am spending the day with Madame Abu to learn how Dawa Dawa is made from the fruit of the African locust bean tree. After harvesting the fruits from the tree, the dark brown pods are opened to take out the dried edible yellow fruit. The actual seeds for making Dawa Dawa are inside the yellow fruit. Madame Abu tells me that the dawa dawa process takes about five to seven days from deshelling to drying to washing to boiling and fermenting the seeds into soft beans the seeds the leaves and the bark of the african locust bean tree are all equally important for medicinal purposes all three have been used in different ways to treat illnesses infections and inflammation. Traditionally, the pulp is pounded in a mortar with a pestle to separate the hard dawa dawa seeds from the dried yellow fruit pulp. The yellow pulp must be extremely dry in order to get the seeds out. This beautifully designed sifter is made from clay and it's used to separate the edible powder from the seeds. For women whose main source of living is dawa dawa, this is their daily work. It's tedious, it takes time, and the process has to be the same every single time. If there is still any more dried yellow fruit around the seeds, then the seeds must be pounded again and again in order to get them ready for the boiling process. The seeds of the African locust bean are so hard that they are not likely to be easily broken during the pounding process. Madame Abu tells me that she packages the leftover powder and sells it at the local schools. The yellow dried fruit is rich in protein, vitamins, and it's an excellent source of food energy. The yellow powder can also be saved and used as seasoning for meat, fish, cooked with rice, or used in breakfast porridges. The seeds has to be washed in preparation for boiling. The dawa dawa fermentation process is so delicate that careful steps has to be taken to avoid any contamination.
There are two boiling processes to making the hard seeds soft. The first step, the seeds are usually boiled overnight for six to eight hours. Madame Abu stays up to ensure that she keeps the firewood burning and also adds water to get the beans softer. She does the second boiling on the same day for about two to four hours. For the second boiling, she ensures that the water is completely drained and the seeds are soft. Then she prepares the dawa dawa beans for a three day fermentation process. After three days of fermentation, the hard seeds turn into a strong scented, sticky, blackish, delicious food ingredient. Before there was any other flavoring ingredient, from the very beginning of time, there was the gift of Dawa Dawa across the African continent.